Hi everyone. Today's video is going to focus on the advanced control called cascading list. So it's here at the bottom with the advanced controls and I'm going to drag it onto the canvas. I'm going to give it a, a label and I'm going to need a second one as well. The cascading list control is defined by a spreadsheet. So if we select the control called cascading list and we will see we have a thing called list group. So within my organization there's a lot of list groups that have already been defined but I'm going to define a new one just to demonstrate the process. So if we go to the edit list groups button and it gives you instructions at the top. Now what we want to do is get the example Excel file. So follow the link and it will download this XLS for you. Let's open that up and show you what that looks like. So I just drag that over here. Okay, so this is a very straightforward list. So we have the column header in line one and then all of the options below it. So this will allow me to have two drop down boxes and if I choose Ford, then it will give me in the second box the choice of these four models of Ford. If I choose Voxel, it would give me a choice of these five models of Voxel. So if I wanted to add another one, I can just add them in there. If I want to do um, maybe the spec, so under Fiesta you could have um, ST and whatever the other spec of Fiestas are. Um, and, and you can have multiple levels. Okay, um, I'm just going to keep this simple with make a model. So let's save that. And then we're going to upload it. Okay, so again, if, if you've already got them defined in here, you can use that. If not, we're going to create a new list group. Um, so we'll call this cars make model. Okay, so that's my new list group created, and then I can upload the Excel file. And there's my file that we just saved. It's read the header and it's just saying this is a preview. So I could say Volkswagen. So we can just check that it's working before we go too far. So there's a couple more things we need to do to make it work. Let's give this one a label so we don't get confused. Make model. Okay, now back to here. Um, it needs a binding, so we're going to call this car make. Dave, are we can do two more than one at the same time which sometimes I will do just to speed up the, the creation of the form so car make for that one that's that binding and car model for that one okay so they're bound now we need to tell it which list to use and um, we need to kind of link these two together okay so click on this one this already knows that it belongs to the list group cars make model we just need to tell it that it's make and then we go to the the other one and again select the list group cars make model and then choose which particular part of the list it belongs to okay and the last thing we need to do is bind those two boxes together so we just have to tell it this is car model and it's looking at car make so that's its its parent if you will So that should be all we need to do. So we'll just test it on the preview. Make voxel model, and it's just reading those voxel entries. So let's close that figure out. Okay, close the preview. The last thing I'll do when I'm adding these advanced controls is just to go back. We'll set the form to approved. Um, and then 
just open we just open the front page choose the correct property group and test the form make model perfect and there's my filled out form thanks for watching